Hi guys, so today I'm going to be taking you guys shopping with me. Uh, me and my boyfriend are going to be going to Woodbury Commons, and for those who don't know what it is, it's a bougie outlet. Um, it's about an hour and a half away from us, but for me, personally, it's worth the drive because I love it so much. Um, I used to go to Mount St. Mary College, and it's about 30 minutes away from there. Um, and I always show you guys my hauls, but I never show you the process of me buying all this stuff. So I thought it would be a fun little vlog to take you guys with me. Oh, oh. Speak of the devil. Hello. What? The, say hi to him. Like a nice way. You're That's like so mad. Funny. He's not very fond of shopping. Not his favorite thing. But really, realistically, what man loves I'm shopping? I'm fond of you not knowing the concept of time. Cut the cameras. Okay. <laughs> so last night, y'all, me and Carlos, um, we love watching like cheating videos, like putting people to the test, loyalty, and we were thinking, what if we did that ourselves? What if we made a whole channel and we caught people cheating? So we saw, we watched one guy and one guy, he'll put them to the test. He'll get like decoys and things like that. But then another guy, guys, if I'm gonna look at you, I'm driving. Um, another guy, he like will like stalk them. So let's say, I, I was like, oh, hey, guy, like, Carlos is at the gym right now. I think he's with a girl. Who will go to that gym and find them, like, caught in the act? Like, would you guys be interested in that? Like, I feel like that's, like, fun, right? Wouldn't you think that's fun? Yeah. I think that we could get away with it, too, just because, like, we know people who, like, could really... <laughs> Test some people here in Connecticut. Yeah. There's a lot of cheaters out here, y'all. She said I caught some in the act, not me cheating with them, but I caught them. I'm like, oh my god, that's not their girlfriend. So you know, I she, wish I could tell them. She said one of the decoys' names yesterday that we could use. <laughs> I was like, bro, any man that's a dog is going to fold. That's what I'm saying. Instantly. Like, even me, like I can use myself as a decoy, like, and they think that they're like. You know, gonna have a date with me and really like, gotcha. You know what I mean? Would you guys be interested in that? I know it's a lot of time consumption and a lot of money, but think about it. Like, we would blow up because we love watching it. So why not just do it ourselves here in Connecticut? Think about it. All these people, where are they? They're in like in LA and stuff, right? They're in like LA, Florida. Exactly. So Georgia. we have a Connecticut, New York cheater YouTube channel. Let me know if y'all, how about this? Put in the comments if you want me to test your man. Or test you, girl. But test your man. Tell me. Let me know. Look how freaking cute. Handsome man. We're here already. I'm just a little embarrassed. There's no people. But let me show you how to do Somebody call me ghetto online. Racist. Please. Shoes, easy. Pants, OTD fash. Top and purse, Shein. The jewelry, I've had, I've had these and these for years. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Ring, biggie, necklaces, I can tell you. Um, Miami. Where in Miami? I forgot. Okay. Where'd you get that, Dr. Shreen? Hot Topic. Pants? Hollister. And then Yeezys. He refused to wear sneakers today because after the biggie yesterday, he's like, my feet are done. But we'll see how much money I spend, y'all. We'll see. I know that I have a ton of Crocs. I literally have a Croc tower. But would it hurt to buy one more pair? I'm kind of stuck between this purple like tie-dye marble. I don't have these. Or should I get the little, reminds me of like Hawaiian flowers. I really love these. I don't know you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I have a problem, like a bad addiction. Or I can get red. I don't have any red ones, like surprisingly. I already have a million shades of pink. I don't know. I already have yellow and green. I already have orange. We'll update you on what I pick and we'll see if Carlos gets any either. Update, no Crocs. I just felt like I already have so many and I get them at Marshalls for like half the price. So I might as well just keep waiting until Marshalls like keeps putting out new ones. I've been getting lucky. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. I've been getting so lucky. Every single week I get a new pair of Crocs. So it's fine, but we did go to Nike. Um, yeah, let's not go in there for right now for a second just so I can finish recording this. Guys, I just can't take you into some of the stores because there's music and as you guys know, copyright. Um, yeah, so would you guys, I don't know, should I do like a big haul at the end? Yeah. Yeah, so how about that? I'll just take you guys on my little 
outlet run and then at the end I'll show you guys the big big loophole. So you know we'll see. Bougie. Should I leave with something you guys? Should I buy something expensive? Huh? I don't know, that's up to you, shorty. Uh -uh. We're hoping that this Marc Jacobs has the tote bag because I've been searching long and hard everywhere for this damn tote bag. I need it, I need it bad, I need it now. So we just finished eating lunch. We couldn't show you guys because there was too much music in the freaking marketplace. But can you guys believe he got two slices of pizza, I got a small plate of pasta, some mod sticks, and a piece of garlic bread. Guess the total. Five, four, three, two, one. Fifty-one dollars. Fifty-one dollars. We go to a five-star um, restaurant. And we ate at a marketplace and a in a freaking outlet. Waste the fifty dollars, but I still ate it though. It's all good. Whatever. Oh my god, there's a line. Oh my god, that's right. Oh, we staying in that line though. Recording now. So we left North Face with two bags. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was about to kick it. I was scared to pop it though. Um, we left with two bags and y'all are gonna have to see later. The deals were Bro, when nasty. when they said 50% off. They meant 50% off. Just go inside. Wanna go into Adidas? Yeah, just um, I just wish I could bring you guys in and be like, oh, look at all this stuff. But the freaking music, y'all. Um, so yeah, I was gonna show you guys what he got, but Carlos said he wants to join my haul. So you guys will see what we both bought at the end of the video. So we're having a little photo shoot right now. I had to change my hair. I had to put it up in a high pony. It looks so messy. I put so much hairspray on my head. It was starting to hurt my head. Like, you can literally hear the hairspray in my hair. Like, I don't think you guys could hear it. It's still in there. I need to wash my hair. And right before I'm like, oh, let's take pictures as soon as we're done in the store. Yeah, I don't know where it went. I literally didn't even feel it come off. So, in all the pictures, you're gonna see me like this, like. So, but I honestly, do you guys see a difference in my hair color? Isn't it so much brighter? Just like a random side note. I just got it bleached and dyed about a week ago, last Tuesday. I see a difference now that I'm in the sun. It's like, just like a oomph to it, you know? Look at my personal servants. Oh yeah. A handsome servant at that. <laughs> so boom, story time. Okay. We're in coach. Did I get something? Ow, yes. I, inst I go in there, okay, and there's people in front of me, and like, you know, there's always somebody at the front, like, designer stores, like, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? It gets to me, she just stares at me. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm not worthy of a hi, because I'm, I'm not going to be a customer. Cool, 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 cool. And I tell Carlos, because uh, Carlos was sitting on this bench, I go, come in so you can help me pick something. She says hi to Carlos, because there's all these bags in his hands, so she knows he's going to spend money, so I'm like, whatever. Cool, cool, cool. I'm walking around the whole store, not a single soul is helping me. I'm looking confused because I just don't know what the prices are of the stuff I like. No. <laughs> she just broke her <laughs> Um, And not a single soul has helped me except for one nice little lady, okay? I made sure I got her little commission at the register because she was the only person helping me. And then all these people here are so rude, bro. They will rock right in front of you, look into your soul, and not say a single word, right? Even a guy, I remember coach, he bumps into me. I'm like, oh, sorry. He gives me this thank you space like this. Like, I had the audacity to touch this man. I thought, you guys, I'm whispering to a lot of people. I just never expect this treatment because everybody always tells me, oh, you look like a white girl. You look like a white girl. Carlos says I don't look like a white girl today. He said I look a little ratchet. I like that. I mean, somebody in the live called me ghetto today because I was on live getting ready, but like... That's just rude, you guys. I just feel very offended because it's just rude. Because look at me, now I spent all this money. I'm excited because I didn't spend it. Sugar Daddy notes. Spent it, yeah. We'll explain why when we go through the whole, um, what we got. So far, how many bags is it? One, two, three, four, five. We got five big bags. So when we're going through the haul of everything we got, he'll tell you guys why he bought all this stuff for me. Um, I would say that this was a pretty successful 
Shopping trip. Right? Yeah. 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 I know he's sick of me. Period. Uh, period. Uh, period. Uh, period. Uh, period. Uh, period. Uh. Almost got Balenciaga's. <laughs> he's gonna be thinking about that for like three days, you guys. So, um, he wanted this pair of Balenciaga like sneakers, right? And they weren't like in the thousand dollar mark. And I was like, okay, like I'll just get it for you for our anniversary. Fun fact: your anniversary is October 18th. Uh, and he just bought me stuff for my anniversary. So I was like, oh, I'll just buy you this and like call it a day. This would be a gift. He's like, no. He's still thinking about it. It's been like 10 minutes. He's like, oh, that could have been a credit card payment. Oh, I could have paid my, my loan but that's with why, that. That's why I told her not to get it because the thing about it is like the Balenciaga's after tax was going to be like 730. Which I was like, he could have got that. It, and that's it. Yeah. He ain't got nothing outside of me. But I'm thinking about it in my head about like if I paid for it, that would have been my whole credit card payment. So, not worth it. Maybe next week. But he maybe just bought month. me. He bought me like all these bags and wallets and stuff. So I'm like, dang. Like maybe I should just get him a little sun sun, you know. But he's being a brat. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. I already got him a gift. But I told him I was like, I already got bought his gift. But I'm like, oh, I could just save it for Christmas. It's not like, uh, it's not something that expires. Like it's not like a dire emergency to give it to you within a month, you know? Yeah. But if you got me it, that means I want it at this point. Ba oh, no, babe. Guys, I called you, babe. Here's a little, little song about me. I'm the best gift giver there is. I don't care what nobody says. I'm the best gift giver. Because obviously, like, I, I be bougie. Like, I, I want to give everybody, like, something they really wanted that they didn't want to spend for themselves. But, like, I also listen to people. So, like, here's a little thing. Except for my dad. My dad's really hard. He is so hard. Okay, but... Last year, Carlos was like, dang, I really want to start a gaming channel. I really want this gaming screen. So I got him a little gaming screen. Why? Because he's not going to buy himself. It was a couple hundred dollars. He's like, oh, that's too much money. So I go and buy it for him. My grandma, she really likes these purses, and she will never buy it for herself. So I go and buy her the purses. Same thing for my mom. She wanted, like, this Apple keyboard, and she wasn't going to buy it. So I went and bought it. So, you know, I'm the best gift, gift giver there. Is true or not true? It's true. Exactly. I just bought him a whole trip to Puerto Rico, you guys. Fun fact. For his birthday, that's where we going. <laughs> Another reason why I didn't get the Balenciagas is because I just don't know where I would wear it. To. Like, I'm not going to wear them often enough for that 750 to be justified. Like, no. And, and you guys, I'm going to put you on a car. And, okay, he literally is like... Oh, I have to have the right fashion to go with it. I'm like, just just wear the just wear the sneakers. Yeah, like you guys, I just bought a new Prada bag like a few weeks ago. I've already worn it like three or four times. I've worn it a lot since I've gotten it. I'll put it on with a fashion over top. You think I care? I'll put it on with the Shein top right now. Like I bought the bag. I'm gonna wear the bag. He's like, no, you need to have the right style with it. Just, I just can't throw on a t-shirt. Yeah, you can. You got the sneakers. Put them on. He's like, no, bags are different. It's not different. They're all designer. I just put it on. How do you think I can afford the bags, you guys? I'll buy a Fashion Nova top with the expensive handbag. Not today. Today, today we got a little Shein bag and a Shein shirt. But it's okay. But it's because... I can't, I can't reach my foot. I got the Yeezys on, you guys. That's the expensive part of the fit. Oh, sneak peek, huh? Huh? But that's besides the point. But what I'm trying to say is you don't need to wear a whole designer fit. I feel like people like that, they like don't really got money. I'm not going to lie. Tell me that's not true. Yeah, because we all blow it on all the clothes. That's what I'm saying. Like, the people who actually wear designer, they don't flex it like that. Like, sometimes you won't even know it's designer. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But the people who don't have money, they'll make sure it's plastered all over their body. And I'm like, all right, you're broke. You're broke. That's all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. The real, the rich people don't feel the need to flex it, in my opinion. I, I'm not one of those people, but that's just what I assume. Okay, guys. It is... Disregard my hair. It is... It's crazy, but it's 10 o'clock at night, and I still wanted to show you guys my haul. We do have Carlos here as well. He's going to show his haul. I'll show my haul. So let's start with Nike. Do you want to come with the camera? Let's start with what we got from Nike. I got these 
gray sneakers because I've been dying for gray sneakers because they match everything. These were only, how much were they? They were 60 plus I got like a little discount. I got a little discount from your little Nike app. So that's all we got from Nike. Didn't have too much good stuff. And then this is Carlos's. How much were they? Uh, 17. The official thotty shorts for men. The official body short. Next up, we got Michael Kors. I got the cutest denim purse, you guys. Can you guys see that it's denim? Oh, yeah, right there. I feel like not everybody's going to love this. I feel like when it comes to like a denim purse, you either love it or you hate it. I have been so into denim. Hates the fact that I've been into denim. I've been getting denim everything. Denim shoes, denim purses, denim shirts, denim. If it was denim, I'm going to get it. So this was 160, I believe. 160. It was on sale. So cute. Then we went to Tommy. I got the cutest little navy blue crop top. This was what 70% off. So it was only $80. The relaxed fit jeans. Because he only has skinny jeans. He's trying to get in style now. You guys know how like mom jeans and boyfriend jeans are in style. So hopping these, on. These were only like $24 compared to one they retail that like 70 I think. Especially because they're men's. I know men's clothes are always like a lot. Then we have Coach and this was all paid for by my sugar daddy. Sugar mm -hmm. daddy loves. Um, because our anniversary is October 18th and he's been wanting to get me the Marc Jacobs tote bag but it is legit sold out everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. Um... So he was like, you know what, I really wanted to get you that bag, but it sold out. So he let me pick whatever bag I wanted from Coach. I opted for this basic, classy, just big bag. I feel like it was cute. I just thought it was cute for fall. And it's, it's like very in style right now. And fun fact, y'all. I was getting coach before it was in, it was in style. Remember people get made fun of for like wearing coach and Michael Kors? Yeah. I always wore it, okay? My mom would always get it for me when I was little. And I still wear it. I don't care. So I got this. And he also got me a matching wallet. They had bigger wallets. But I like this size. I don't have anything this size. Because what if I want to change my purse? Okay, I want to change my purse. And I want something super small. But it also matches this. And he also got me this cute wristlet, which I can also put cards in there. So I thought, why not just get something that matches this? So shout out to Los. And I forgot to show you guys the floral things on it. This bag was one. Let me just show you guys. The big bag was 189. And then these were both. $30 each, which honestly is not bad at all. We saved the best for last, people, because we were, like, shook when we went into North Face. So, obviously, we showed you guys. It said, like, oh, 50, up to 50% off. But you guys know how stores would be like, oh, up to 50% off. It'll be, like, one little wreck. Mm -hmm. That's 50% off. No. The whole store was 50% off. So, let's start with mine. My nail just came off. I've had these on for a few days. You guys know press-ons don't last long for me. But anyways, in total, I spent $144. And for $144, I got the fuzzy basic North Face just in black. You need this, okay? And then I got the cutest cheetah puffer coat it's in an extra large because that's the only size they had but i like it because i personally when i have coats on think but i have layers under i have a hoodie i have a sweater i have whatever layers under so i have enough space to wear it and not be like this like the michelin man just stiff you know what i'm talking about so for both of these 144 dollars total show them yours when we got to the desk i told her i was talking to her because i got two jackets and I didn't know if I was going to get both just because, you know, bills. <laughs> so I ended up spending $182 and I saved $253. So the first jacket I got, I don't really know what this print is called. But Let me see. it's kind of like a Japanese type of print. Like, I'm pretty sure that 
these like hexagons with no like these flowers are like i know but i'm trying to describe the shape put it up close so they can see what you're talking about yeah like i don't really know what you would describe this print as but it's a half zip i wanted a full a full zip but they didn't have it in my size so i got that right isn't that cute you guys he was like i don't know if i want it i'm like you look good <laughs> And then I ended up getting this jacket as well. Guys, he's into like funky designs. Like he can't just get a plain blue North Face. No, it has to have some sort of design. That's how he is with everything. And that's cheap considering it's a, it's men's. Like I feel like men's stuff is always more expensive than women's. Bro, these jackets are expensive. Like the retail is two ninety. And let me tell you guys this: the reason that we find it worth. Some people are probably like, oh, you can you can go get jackets from Mama or something. For me, I rather buy a North Face because I actually bought a North Face like rain jacket five years ago. No joke, my freshman year of college, I'm now a year since I graduated. It's still in mint condition, perfect condition. So if it's gonna last me years and years and years, might as well splurge, you know? Yeah. So that was our haul. We were there all day. We arrived there at one and we're just now getting home at 10 o'clock at night. Which is crazy. What, are you going to try it on for them? No. Um, so, yeah. If you guys like hauls like this or you guys like shopping with us, we're, again, we're sorry. We're, I'm sorry <laughs> that I couldn't bring you guys into more stores. It was just the music was blasting. And so, like, what's the point of bringing you in there if you can't even hear what I'm saying? Because I can't. Number one, the music's so loud, I can't talk over it. And then, it's copyrighted, YouTube's gonna, like, take it down, you know, yada, 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 yada. So, if you guys like more videos like this, let me know below. Or if you have any suggestions, let me know. Thanks for watching. If you guys like these types of hauls, I do post hauls on TikTok literally every single week. Like, multiple videos a week. I post, like, mini hauls that aren't, like, enough for YouTube. So, my TikTok is AlyssaBreeXO, so go follow that. Put it right here, here. I don't know. He's the one editing. He'll put it somewhere on the screen. And yeah.